A few days ago, Bloomberg was panicking about a new survey showing young people don't care about climate change because they are more worried about inflation destroying their lives. The survey was conducted by Seiko Epson asking more than 30,000 people in 39 countries if they felt threatened by climate change. Strikingly, the only group that came close to saying yes were people over age 55, of whom after 30 years of climate propaganda, 40% are afraid. The number then plunges by age. People in their 40s either don't believe in climate change or don't care about it by 2 to 1. Nearly 70% of those between 25 and 34 either don't believe climate change is real or don't fear it. That is the so-called COP generation, named for the first United Nations Climate Summit 1995. They were supposed to be the foot soldiers of the climate revolution, and they are not. So what do young people fear? Easy, inflation, rising prices, and the falling wages that go with them. I mentioned recently that half of all young adults now live at home, overwhelmingly for financial reasons. A series of videos have been making the rounds on X or Twitter, apparently shot by young middle-class left-wingers, I'm going by hair color and face jewelry, who are pissed off that they will never be able to attain the very normal lifestyle they grew up in. So they grew up in a four-bedroom house that their parents owned with avocado toast. Now they are 32 with roommates and instant ramen. One young man with giant earrings rants that he is, quote, becoming radicalized by high prices. So much for the revolution. Beyond losing the young, the climate racket is losing steam with the grown-ups too. Reuters recently reported that investors are fleeing renewable energy funds. In just three months, the entire sector has collapsed by a quarter. This is largely because wind and solar are losing money even faster than their lobbyists can siphon fresh money from taxpayers. Meanwhile, politicians around the world are also retreating from the climate agenda as reality bites. France reversed a ban on gas boilers, the UK delayed bans on residential heating, Sweden abandoned its net zero goal, and Germany will reopen coal plants. Norway is now putting a fresh $18 billion into oil and gas fields. Even Bobby Kennedy is talking, walking back, the climate talk. Of course, even as climate fear loses the masses, the climate agenda is not going anywhere because the money is just too darn good. In fact, the climate propagandists are getting more shrill. Recently, the Secretary General of the United Nations thundered that, quote, humanity has opened the gates to hell by gassing up the station wagon. So what is next? Brought to you by Unchained. What's next is that, as with almost every political issue today, the people are turning against the elite, especially the young. And yet nothing changes, because the elite still have the power. So things will get worse in the short run, but reality has a way of settling debates, and epic mismanagement of economies tends to focus voter minds. After all, if you can't eat, if you're single with roommates at 40, you start to think maybe you have been played that maybe they are lying. Meaning we're about to see a whole lot more Bloomberg articles about lost revolutionaries who don't buy it anymore. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.